Yes. Okay. Oh, did you sneak out again? No, you go into your bed. <laughs> so taking your comfortable seat, my friends, and let's um, let's just do this little like this is the number eight. You know, just take it up and refresh yourself, and just feeling like you know maybe it's an eight, maybe it's whatever it is. You know, it's this interweaving of the two circles and just feeling that and then even now continue this but close your eyes and be in your breath in your space smile you can make it a little bigger whatever feels good let's do one more just breathing in and out and then we'll just settle with the hands on the thighs palms facing down to start and as you're here now with your hands facing down just give your legs a little love just massaging your thighs and you can press down a little bit if you get to the knees give them a couple circles and the shins a couple rubs and feeling your breath as you are and that you are here in your practice and then just keep going until you start to feel that warmth that connection you're sending loving energy into your legs i love you legs thank you for everything you do for me and I can carry me and support me. And beyond that, our legs are an extension of your intestines and guts. So appreciate that too. And then just coming to rest now with the palms facing up. So we've created this friction with the palms. And you can close your eyes, drop in, feel into this heat energy you hold here. You might even feel it like a pulse a fireball you hold and then we'll move into mudra and for this mudra you're going to take the thumb pad and take it over the nail of the pinky and you might even be able to go deeper so that the thumb touches the first knuckle of the pinky and the three fingers in the middle are going to come together and extend out so it is yoga for your hands this might be a bit of a stretch you can just go to your place so thumb into pinky on the nail or over the first knuckle if you can get there. Extending the three fingers together, lengthen your heart, lift yourself up. And then dropping back into your breath, let your jaw go. So you have deep connection in your hands. Notice your shoulders, if one's hiking up, let it go, let the other one go. Just emanating this power out of your hands. This potential, extending the three fingers, so it maybe comes into more of a stretch. Let the jaw go, the shoulders go, lift your heart. And as you exhale, release the mudra, just let the palms face up, the hands relax. And just taking a few breaths here. And just as we breathe here and you center yourself, starting to lengthen the inhale and maybe count it so maybe it goes to four or five six and then pausing at the top and you can count it maybe it's the same number and then slowly exhaling for maybe that same number or a little <clears throat> longer and pausing at the bottom of the exhalation is for me the most challenging so if you stay there even for one or two seconds or counts and then continue on so you are moderating, softening, lengthening, relaxing your breath. Connecting the counting to the flow of each four parts of your breath. Of your breath. The inhalation for inspiration. The natural pause when we take a moment to refocus, rebalance. And the exhalation, the expiration, the release. And then the pause at the death of the breath. That's why it's so hard at the bottom of the exhale. The body wants to inhale. And just doing your best. Softening your third eye. Your jaw, your shoulders. And just allowing this sweet flow in the four parts of your breath.
You notice if your breath was ragged when you first started, maybe it smoothed out a little bit. And we're gonna do one more cycle. As you inhale this time, smile. And hold that smile as you pause at the top. And then as you exhale, let that smile slowly turn to a frown at the bottom of the exhale. And then pausing, notice if that makes it a little easier. And then turning the corners of the mouth up as you inhale. And keep the smile, just return to normal breath. <clears throat> Take your hands and just cross them over so you're, as if you're cold, you know, grab your upper arms and give them a little rub, like, oh, so cold. I'm gonna warm myself and feel that. And then we're just gonna keep, grab opposite elbows and take these arms up and over your head and lengthen yourself up here as best as you can. And then you keep the length, let the shoulders soften, smile, press the elbows into the hands slightly, hands hold back. And, and as you inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, circle your wrists. We're gonna take the arms out to the sides to bring them down, just circling your wrists to bring them all the way down, bow your chin, <coughs> touch the earth. And as you inhale, circle the wrists the opposite way. Take your arms back up. Good. And as you get to the top this time, we take the hands together. We're gonna to bring them down in front of the heart. And just resting here in your stillness, just feeling that little bit of movement, that awakening, and also that bringing yourself more deeply inside. As you bow your chin down to your hands, you bow to yourself, you bow to the mat, you bow to the practice. And as you inhale, lengthen yourself nice and tall. Hold the breath at the top, <coughs> inhale more if you can. Drop your shoulders, your jaw, hold the breath. We're gonna hold the breath here, just as you are. If you can take in more air, do it. And then exhale completely. Normally breathe. And we'll open practice and chant the sound of OM together three times. Inhale. Oh. your chin. Mindfully release your hands to your thighs. Lift your chin and open your eyes. Okay. Um, so many things going through my head. So now I just need to refocus because I lost track because I wanted to tell you guys that Sadie had her puppies today. And there are six of them and she had four boys, little black ones, and two little brown girls. I haven't seen pictures or anything yet. I just got the news, so I lost focus. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> let's, um, let's start standing. Let's come up to standing. Maybe no hands. And then let's just start like this. I know my head's cut off, and I think that's fine. Put your hands on your hips, and we'll just take one foot to the floor and just start to roll that ankle. Ooh, as soon as I do that, I get a foot cramp. Maybe it's something I needed. Okay, roll your ankle a couple times, both directions. Breathing. And, okay, and now anchor into your standing leg, whichever one it is. Lift yourself up, lift this leg up, and roll that ankle around a few times, both directions. 
And if you can balance, and we're gonna to start to also move the knee joint. So I'm just gonna move the shin side to side. And lost my balance, so there we go. Good, okay, maybe a circle of the shin, both ways, smile even if you're losing it, and then take your leg down. Release your arms, breathe here, maybe close your eyes. Just feel. And then hands to your hips, open your eyes, and we'll do the second foot. So into the toes are in the floor, just rolling that ankle, and then reverse. Do it the opposite way a few times. Good. Okay, and then we're gonna balance, lift it up, and do a little circling. So find your balance, smile, I hope you're smiling, and go the opposite way. And then I'm gonna add the shin. And you might go slower than I am. You might circle it both ways. Well, this looks so cute, like a little can-can. <laughs> and then we'll put the feet down. Drop your arms. Breathe in. Good. We're going to step the feet apart a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take my arms up and over my head. So go ahead, take your arms up. Reach up. Have the palms face each other. Stretch your fingers. Yeah, and then as you exhale, just grab opposite elbows. Take your hands down. Oh, that didn't help, okay. <laughs> and then from here, just start to move a little bit side to side. And if you wanna bend your knees, that's fine. Thank you, heart. <laughs> yeah, just a little side to side. And we're gonna take this into a little circling. So I'm just gonna take the chest down. It's like I roll the hands down and up. Just breathing into this movement so maybe you're turning to face the outside of each leg now you feel how your hips are moving it's all connected and then reverse circle the opposite way if you tend to get dizzy just go really slow make it whatever it is and let's do one more stirring and then we're just going to come back to side to side. So we're going to just stop. You can let your hips dance into that. And, and then just reaching your arms up. Now as you exhale, we're going to come to forward fold. Just bend your knees and offer it. I like to like offer this. Take your hands down. Drop down. Walk your feet as wide as you need to be comfortable here. So your hands are resting on the floor or on your blocks. And you're breathing. And then we're just going to come to the good old sway. So hands stay where they are, and you bend one knee, shift the weight over, and your head's going to turn to look at the straight leg or straighter leg. Yes. Good. Nice. And then just taking that back to your center. And you're going to keep your feet where they are, but walk your hands far, farther in front of you. And then you bend your knees. So make sure your feet are pointing straight ahead as best you can. Bend your knees, stick your butt back, so let your head drop. And breathe here. We're just gonna move front to back in this. So as you inhale, you shift the weight forward, you look forward, shoulders over wrists. And as you exhale, bend your knees and take it back. You can even push your feet down and forward. And then you'll inhale, you move at your own pace, come forward. And exhale, take it back. And we'll do one more like that. Good. And then coming back. Nice. And then from here, walk your hands back. And we're going to come down for just a little squat. So adjust your feet however you need them to be. And you can be up on your heels, right? We're just going to rock one knee out and then take the other one out. So hands can be on the floor. I mean, you can do this without if you feel like. You know, you don't have to have your hands on the floor. Woo, a little bit more challenging. Good. Okay, and then we come back to our center here. And from here, wherever your feet are is fine. Walk your hands forward, tuck your chin in, and now drop your tush to the floor. Let the heels come down. So you're really <clears throat> small, and you're modifying, you're breathing. And then come forward, let your knees come to the floor. So if you need to adjust, put your blanket or step back, do that. Good. And then we'll have the toes tucked under. 
We're gonna shift the hips back and then walk the hands forward. So this modified child's pose. Your forehead can touch the floor. Let's feel your feet open. So how can you open your feet here? You know, imagine they're open or you feel like, oh, I'm just letting my feet relax. Good. Take one more breath in and out. Okay, then you're gonna come up to your hands and your knees and we're gonna step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. So sometimes it's easy if you take the right hand off the floor, you can step it and then pull it. And then both arms are inside this right leg. Yeah, and now the left leg, I'm gonna just walk it back a little bit to a place that feels good. And we're just gonna rock front to back. So you just to make this what you need. And just breathing. Now this is a lot maybe for right off the bat. So go slow and just feel. Oh, the back of my knee is tight, my hip is tight. Instead of that, maybe go, oh, I see you knee. I feel you hip or whatever it is. Okay, the next time we come forward into lunge, we keep the left hand down. We're gonna take the right hand to the thigh and we're gonna take this little twist. And if you want to lift that left knee up off the floor, go ahead and do that. And you can lift the right arm up if you wish, or be wherever you are. Hey, okay, notice I'm not sinking in my left thigh. It's lifted. Good, and then exhale, both hands down. Now you can put the knee down if you wish and step back to hands and knees, or just take it back down with dog. And if you're on your hands and your knees, you might drop back to child's pose and breathe, and if you're in downward dog, just breathe in your dog. I'm really pushing the heels of my hands away and the heels towards the floor and the thighs back. Let your head go. And then find your way back to your hands and your knees. And take a moment again, adjust. And then we're gonna take the left foot and you're gonna step it to the outside of the left hand. However you need to do that. And then you might walk the right knee back, you know, find your place in your own space, just rocking front to back. Feel your breath. You know, it is a journey, so you go as slow as you want, my friends. This is where we start to really feel. Maybe this side's better. Maybe there's other stuff. And as often as you do this in your daily life, right? It's time to really connect in. So the next time we come forward and lunge, we keep the right hand on the floor, left hand to the thigh, we twist and we stay here, or you lift that right knee up. I'm lifting my hips up too. And then I open the arm. And then you shine your light everywhere. So nothing's going to sleep, you're here, you're smiling maybe. And then exhale, release, maybe the knee down, take your hands and knees or downward dog and breathe. So it could be child's pose, all good. They all take us in, good. Nice, and yeah, then we're all gonna come down to our knees, good. Okay, and then just wag your puppy tail. Just wag your tail side to side. And then we're just gonna start to circle the hips. So you just make this nice circle. And as you do this, you might walk your hands forward, your knees back. It might start to almost, you know, move front to back. Maybe there's a figure eight in there to discover. And just feeling your body. You no, know, honor your knees if they're not happy on the floor. Then just put your nice cushy blanket or your new bolster underneath your shins. Good. Okay. And we're just gonna settle back into that child's pose with the toes tucked under. So you might walk your hands in and find your place. Take a few breaths here. Good. And then we're gonna walk the hands back. We're coming back to Malasana squat. So the toes are tucked under. I walk it out, you might jump your feet wider. You might hang out, you know, heart's already in it. That's totally great. You might do this, you know, if this felt really good for you. And this is a really great 
pose. You know, gardeners out there, this is your pose. <coughs> <laughs> Highway driving, need to pee on the side of the road. This is your pose <laughs> for women. You know. Okay, take one more breath. Does it? Good, okay. All right, and then we're gonna come back down onto our knees. And back to your hands and your knees. So pad up. Okay, from here we're gonna take the, I'm gonna bring the knees together, big toes touch. And then I'm gonna shoot that left leg out to the side. Yes. And keep the right hand on the floor and inhale, lift the left arm up. Now as you exhale, sweep it under, but we're not coming down. Let's reach. And then inhale, you push the right hand down so you rise up. And exhale, take it under and reach. And inhale, reach up. This time let's circle it. Take that arm all the way over your head. You reach. Maybe you take it out, you reach for your left foot and then it goes back up. And let's do this two times. Now one more. Good. Okay, and then we'll just come up. We're gonna bring the hand down. You're gonna tuck the left, the right toes under, and we're taking it to like a half squat. So you walk your hands back, come up onto your toes here. And I know this is like super unhappy for a lot of people. So this is where you know you honor your practice, you make it what you need. If you're good here, I'm gonna hop my right foot forward, put the foot flat and come into this, but it's all good. You be whatever works. Just breathe and smile. Drop your left thigh. Okay, and then bring yourself back. So if you're all the way down, you know there's some work. Bring yourself back, come back. Have the left foot is still out. We're gonna keep the left hand down. I saw that. That's awesome. That's the way it goes. Reach the right arm up. It's crunchy. And then exhale and take it through. Just reach. And inhale, reach up. Oh, just got a wicked back crack. <laughs> and then just feel whatever it is. This time we're going to take the arm all the way down like we do. So you'll come onto your shoulder. We'll let the right temple come down. The, the um, left hand can come out somewhere so it's supporting you. Yeah, I know it might feel really awkward and pretzely. This is the thing with yoga. We put ourselves in these weird shapes. Basically, we're just making shapes. So here's the next part, my friends. You stay here and breathe. But if you can sneak that right hand underneath your left foot, then you hold on to the baby toe edge. So I got it here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just holding the foot. So it's a huge stretch for the shoulders. If that's there or whatever it is, you know, I'm going to lift this left arm up. I'm going to turn and look up, and I'm connecting the foot and the hand. So you be wherever you are. Smile. If this is not a possibility, just go. That's not a doorway shut. It's a doorway open. And then release. You're going to come up. Release. And we're going to sit in Vajrasana. That's the tops of the feet down, thunderbolt pose. If this is happy and OK, if not, you sit any way you like. I just want you to close your eyes. Feel your breath, <laughs> feel all of that. Yes, okay, take one more breath. Now we're gonna do the second side. So we put the hands down and come back to your hands and your knees. You're gonna have to bring the knees to touch, big toes touch, left toes stay tucked under, right leg shoots out. Go ahead, I'll make it <laughs> Okay, then we're gonna keep the right hand on the floor. Do you inhale, reach the left arm up. No, wrong one. Put the left hand down. Reach the right arm up, inhale. Oh yeah, this part feels much better. <laughs> and then sweep it under. Just inhaling, opening, give glory, inspiration. Exhale, expiration. Inspire yourself. Expire yourself. Okay, let's do one more, inhale. Now stay here, we're gonna circle. So just reach the arm over your head and then reach out along to that right foot and back up. You're just circling this in whatever way feels good. Because there's not just one way to do yoga. <laughs> right, whatever it is, I think I reversed the circle. Let this be your last one. And then we'll put the hand down. Good. Now we're gonna lift. Right hand stays down, left arm up. And notice, whatever it is, 
You breathe into that. Oh, it's so crunchy. Isn't that great? Good. Let's do two more. Every time you lift the arm and you breathe in, something opens. This time we take the arm all the way down. You come down onto your left temple, left shoulder, right hand moves wherever you need it. If you can reach that hand out, put it underneath the sole of your foot, do that. If it's too much, don't do that. And then you can reach the right arm up if that's there, you know, that's the pose. And you breathe and you smile and you love it. And if you don't love it, you breathe and you smile. And then exhale, release, both hands down. Come up, bring your legs together. I'm gonna tuck the toes under and sit again. But you, you know, make it your own. There we go. Breathe here. So good. Yes. Good. Take one more breath. Good. Take your hands down. I feel we need to do some wrists. So I'm going to take the hands down with the fingers pointing towards the knees. The wrists come down. I come up off the heels. And then here, you know, you might walk your knees closer if you need less. Walk your knees further away. You can bend your elbows. Take your bellies in. That's going to, you know, if I drop my belly here, it's a little easier. And as I start to bring the belly in, I'm like, oh, hello. Okay, smile, breathe. Yeah, can you extend your head away from your shoulders? So we're not crunching the head in. Can you extend the crown of the head away? Good. Okay, walk your knees in and let's sit on the tops of the feet. Lift the palms up. Take this advantage of a finger stretch. Whatever it is, you know, if you're up here and your hands are barely coming off the floor, then you smile and go, okay, there's a doorway. Good, breathe. One more breath. Good, and then release. Let's give these hands a little shake. Shake them high. Yeah, shake them low. Shake them to one side and the other. Good, okay, that's good, that's good stuff for your wrist. All right, we're gonna come back up. I'm coming back to Malasana Squat. So I'm just gonna walk back. This is for all you guys who are gardening. And then just open and close a few times. Okay, then we're gonna sit in this. Whatever that is, I'm gonna take a twist here. So even if my heels are lifting, I might throw a blanket underneath the heels. Or whatever, you know, you make it your own. I'm gonna take the right hand, oh sorry, it's my left hand underneath, plant it, reach the right arm up. And just open yourself and then just switch. Take the right hand down, reach the left arm up. Good. And then I'm gonna to come to sit from here. So I'm gonna bring the hands together, give glory, and then reach forward, drop the tush, or hands to the floor, take the tush out. Now stretch your legs out, give them a little shaky. Yes. <coughs> okay, great, let's see which way do I want to go. Let me go this way. Okay, well, let's take the right hand underneath the right knee, bring it in, and then, oh no, I'm gonna switch. You're gonna walk it out a little bit. Give yourself some room. So I just changed sides, I didn't change legs. Still have my right leg in. So you, no, let me stop. This is my left leg for you guys. So, so whatever you, let's bring the left leg in. Yeah, let's do it all together so I can, I know I'm here. Left leg in, right hand to the floor. Reach your left arm up. Now as you reach, you drop the left knee out and then you bring it back. Now take this elbow into that, anchor the foot, lift your heart and twist to the right. Yes. And then smile. Good, take this left forearm and face it towards the floor. Make a fist and pull back and open yourself a little more. Okay, press the left foot into the floor, right heel into the floor, and exhale and release. And as you release, left hand grabs the left ankle and we bring it into what is tree pose here. Okay, so we're here. If you need to sit on something, throw a blanket or something underneath there. How do you know? If you are caving back, then sit on something, a bolster or whatever you have. Okay, take a breath here. We're just gonna do this little hip thing we did. So you take your hands and you just move your 
chest. I say hip thing, you know, we're moving the chest. But if you close your eyes, you can really <laughs> feel your hips moving here. So there's an opening and the closing, the hips. So feel that opening as you turn to the knee, closing. Let's do one more. And then you're gonna face the leg. Take the hands down. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, extend over this leg. And wherever you go, as soon as you start to feel sensation, that's where you go. Ah, oh, okay. And you let your head go, your breath go. You breathe. And even allow your breath to oscillate your body. So even if it's not visual, <laughs> you can feel the body moving with your breath. And then you stay as you are. If you want to bring in a little more, all you need to do is just point and flex your foot, circle your ankle. As you're coming forward, you know, you. You move the foot, and if you do it slowly, you're gonna feel, oh yeah, that's the sweet spot for me. Good, and then we'll just take three more breaths here. Let your jaw be soft, release yourself. And then you'll slowly come up. And you might keep your eyes closed, my friends. It's fine. You're just gonna come back up with your hands behind you. Lift your heart. And we're gonna twist the opposite way. So I'm gonna take the hands off the floor and turn the chest towards that knee. And I'm gonna turn it as much as I can. Then I'll take the right hand to the left knee, the left hand behind, lengthen and turn. And then you can even turn your right hand out if that works and anchor. Now take your belly back a little bit if you can, your heart back, the back of your head back. <clears throat> yeah, so at the very beginning I said your legs are an extension of your guts. So here as we're twisting all of that, you know, just activate the right foot a little bit. You don't need to do any more than that. And inhale and exhale and release. Come back to front. You can put your hands on the floor. You can put your hands on your body or in front of your heart. And breathe here. Good. Okay, from here, I'm going to take both hands over to the right. Lift the left knee. Put the left foot down. Now, this isn't going to work for everyone. So I'm going to take this foot back. That's what's happening here. So if that doesn't work for you, you just go back here. It's fine. So otherwise, you take the leg back. As I take the leg back, I'm gonna lift that left hip. Then I take my hand right up into that back of that calf. And I'm gonna push the calf down and out as I bring the hip back down. So you, please, take care of yourself. If you need to sit on something, do it. If this is no good for your knee, it's no good. You come out. Or you take, here's another thing. Take your foot, your left foot, and point it straight back. Yes. Okay, good. Then from here, right hand stays down, reach the left arm up. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna come back to a little bit of a forward fold here. And whatever it is, you know, let it be, breathe. Notice if that changes the stretch underneath the right leg. Again, you're welcome to move your right foot or just be. If it's enough to be, that's enough. Release your breath. Okay. okay, we'll take one more breath in and expire that breath. And then walk yourself upright. From here, I'm gonna take the hands behind. I'm gonna lean back. So we're starting to intensify this stretch here on the left quadricep. So you, um, you know, you're gonna stop any place here. So maybe this is just enough. I'm just gonna turn so you can see my hands. The next thing I'm gonna do is bend the right leg and put the right foot on the floor. Then when I do that, I can lift my hips up off the floor. I'm gonna shift the hips more to the right and then put them down. That's gonna give me a little more here. So again, you stop at any bus stop. The next bus stop is to come down on your forearms. And I have my chin tucked here, I'm breathing. <clears throat> if it's too much, you know, you tried it, you're like, ah! Go back up. Wherever you are, smile. 
Okay, the next thing is just, it's so little, but it's a lot. I'm gonna take the right knee and just drop it over towards the left thigh as if it almost just wants to rest there. Then I'm gonna turn my head to the right and breathe. Okay, if you're on your forearms back here, lift your chest. Okay, and then we're gonna come out so slowly. So you can bring the head back, the right knee, come back up on your hands. Okay, from here, I'm gonna come up. So I'm gonna take my hands maybe to the floor, maybe no hands. Oh, I'm just gonna come up, yes. Now I'm gonna shoot this right leg, uh, sorry, this is your left leg, behind you. Walk your hands and come up to pyramid pose. So the legs are straight-ish, they don't have to be. You know, you make it your own. You might grab your blocks. And I'm gonna exhale and bow down over this right leg, like you've done already two times. Okay, notice if your left hip is really opening back. <clears throat> See if you can pull it forward a little bit. That might mean the left heel has to turn out. Okay, breathe in your own discomfort, in the presence of yourself. Oh, I feel this is gonna go to standing split, so <clears throat> I'm just warning you. But it says it sounds scarier than it is. It's it, don't forget I just said that. Bend your right knee. Walk your hands forward. You're just going to straighten the right leg and lift the left leg up, and just take it up wherever it's going to go. Just honor, you know, this weird. Wow, look where I am. Press it out. Good. And then we're going to come back the way we came in. So you're going to put that left foot down. You bend the right knee. Walk your hands back. Put this left knee on the floor. Um, I said the same way, but let's put both knees together. Yeah, and then just drop yourself over to one side. We'll stretch the legs out like nothing happened. Shake your toes. Good, okay. Now we put the left hand on the floor, bring the right leg in and walk it out so you have room. So it's not really close together. Okay, then you sit on something. I'll wait. Good. And then left hand plugs into the earth. We reach the right arm up. Here, I drop that right knee out to the side just to get, you know, the stuff <laughs> out of the way. And then bring your, which I love. I love all that stuff. And then anchor the elbow, lengthen, and you turn towards the left. You can walk the left hand behind. Okay, I am leaning back. I lean towards the right. Feel your right foot on the floor, anchor it. That's good, just anchoring the foot will lift your chest a little bit. Now take the forearm parallel to the floor, make a fist and pull back. And breathe, as you twist right into your belly, you can pull the belly in, twist. Okay, if you have hip stuff happening, how can you, how can you release that? You explore it in these weird shapes. And then exhale, release, come out. We're gonna grab this foot and we bring it into tree pose. Okay, adjust yourself if you're sitting on something. If you're curling back, that's how you know. You sit on something so you can sit up. All right, we take the seat of the yogi. Pause here. We're gonna come back to this little dance. So the hands come up and you're just turning side to side. So it's a controlled turn. You know, you feel your hips moving, your abdominals moving, your chest moving. And, and then the next time you turn to face the leg, we we'll just take the hands down. Inhale and exhale, walk yourself out. And again, you just find that place where you feel the stretch. And you melt yourself in. Let your eyes close, your jaw relax. Okay, so last time I said you want more, you can move the foot. You can do that. The other thing you can do is, you know that little hip dance we just did? You can do that here, like you pull the hip back and forward. That might feel great. You might get into something. No pose ever needs to be static. But after we move for a little bit, then it's also nice to just experience the dropping in. So moving as you need to releasing as you need to, it's honoring. You know, we started off with a leg massage, so, oh, I love you, left leg, you're amazing. What you did today was incredible. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now let's take three more breaths here and feel that inspiration and the expiration. <clears throat> And as you finish your third exhalation, then very gently walk yourself upright and just pause in the center place for a few moments. Good. Okay, I'm going to turn over that bent knee. So I'm going to take the hands up again. I lift up, turn to face that knee, and I'm just going to turn as much as I can, like a little crank. And then once I get wherever here is, take the hands down and turn. You can turn the left palm out. Sometimes that really helps with anchoring, breathing. And again here, I'm leaning back. I take the heart back, the belly back, the back of the head back. Okay. So you don't have to do anything with your left foot, but feel the heel into the earth. And if you can spread your toes, well, that's just like extra magic. So be there. And then inhale and exhale and release. And we come back to the front for a moment. Good. Okay. I have to think. Oh, I know. Right. Okay. Now we take, yeah, we're going to take the left hand down and you're going to take this right leg back. So the foot is, I'm on the top of the foot, the sole of the foot is pointing up. I lean more, take my hand into the calf. And I push that calf down and out to come back. Okay, if this bothers your knee, change it. If you need to sit up on something, do that. Yes, great, heart yeah, has a knee thing. So you honor your knee, you can go back, it's all fine, or you kind of find your way. Okay, from here now, I'm just gonna turn and face this leg, we're gonna fold over. So if that works, you know, be you, T full. Be you, whatever you need. So even just coming back into the forward fold, you know, here's another modification. If you cross it over, I mean, this is like more intense, but you can try, this is for the back of the leg that you're lying over. So either one, be here, breathe and receive. Okay. And take a nice big breath in, breathe it out, and then you walk yourself upright. Yeah, we take the hands behind. So, you know, adjust, maybe you take it out more, you move the knee back more, you can kind of play. It's not going to be super comfortable. It's not, otherwise we'd always sit like this, right? Take your hands behind, lean back, and if that's enough for you, that's fine. You breathe, otherwise we bend the left leg. I put the foot down. I'm gonna lift my hips up, shift the hips to the left, and I put them down. I get a little bit more into that right quadricep. And then maybe stay here, or you come down onto your forearms. I lift the belly, tuck the chin, lift the heart, and then I might turn the head to the left. Nice, babe. That's modifying. <coughs> And then the next thing, last thing I'm going to do is take this left knee and just cross it towards the right. So it's like I'm putting more weight there. So we should have, you know, as many people as we have here, we should all be doing something a little different. Just honoring where you are. Take one more breath. Okay, release. Now, no surprises this time. You know, we're going to come up. So you're going to come up onto that knee. So you either use your hands or not. I come here. Then I put my hands down, lift the knee, and boom, I'm in pyramid pose. That's what this is called. This little legs are just not super far apart. I mean, maybe they are, it's all fine. Then you bow down over this leg. Notice if your right hip is really opening out and see if you can pull it in. You might have to pop the right heel out and just breathe. Smile, feel. What happens if you push your feet into the earth? Release, release, release. And now I'm going to say it, standing splits. So you bend the left knee, walk your hands forward, and you just feel that foot, the hands, pull the leg up, and wherever the leg goes, you can look at it, go, wow, look at that. 
So good, breathe. Push the left thigh back. Maybe bow down over the left leg. And then come back with grace and elegance. You bend the left knee, put the right foot down. Once it's down, we put the knee down. Yeah, and then we'll bring the knees together. I'm just gonna drop the hips. This time I'm gonna take my hips over to my left side. I did the right last time. Take the legs out. Let's give ourselves a footy. Lord knows we deserve it. Good job, you guys. <clears throat> yes. Okay, rub your feet, the inseam of your calves, your thighs. Love that all up. So good. Okay. Good. All right, we're going to take forward fold. We're going to do two of them. So the first one we're going to do with the legs stretch straight. And this is like probably the least fun of all of them. Now I'm just rocking side to side. I'm going to lift my hip up and just kind of find my place here. Just these little things. And then I'll take the hands down. Now you're going to feel, oh, the backs of the legs are tight. Maybe you bend your knees. Maybe you sit on something. Lift your heart. And then as you exhale with the heels into the floor, walk forward. And you might not move at all. And that's okay. You give glory. You bow your chin. You breathe. And you feel the doorway to possibilities opening. And maybe you have a memory of it. when you were young. You could do this you know, as a young child. Maybe you never did it. Fold yourself in half. You know, when I teach little kids, I call this peanut butter sandwich. Put peanut butter on the chest, jam on the legs, and stick it together. <laughs> so whatever it is, just feel your breath. You know, we do this pose so often standing. And if you flex the feet, you're going to get a little bit more of whatever you may want or not want. Let your head go. Good. And then slowly walk yourself upright. Let your head be where it is. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Then we come to Baddha Konasana. If you want to make it Kurmasana, turtle pose, that's all fine. Otherwise, just take your hands down, let your head go. You know, you can move your hips a little bit. If that, you know, it's like that hip walking, I call it. And sometimes that just kind of shakes things out for you. And even opening the jaw, the mouth is going to release the hips. You know, if you think about how your jaw is hinged at the jawbone and your hip bones, it is, they mimic each other. So if you open your mouth, you soften your jaw, you're going to open your hips. And you let your head go, your heart go. It's feeling your breath. And before we come out of this, just come back to that four part breath we did at the very beginning. So as you inhale, you count four, five, six, might be more than when you started. And then pausing and exhaling for that number or longer. And if you can hold at the bottom for that same number, great. If not, that's fine. And just do two more rounds of breath like that. Just consciously really being in connection with your breath, releasing yourself in this pose. And just feel with the expiration, how there is a dropping. And then you can stay with that breath or you can just let it go, be with normal breath. And then slowly as you're ready, You'll just walk yourself upright. And as you come up, we're going to move into Shavasana, but you might take a moment, cross-legged or legs stretched out, just to feel the effects. You know, it's not the pose, it's the repose. So if you want to take a moment here with your hands at your heart, bowing your chin, just honoring all the work that you have done, the medicine you have unleashed, doors you have opened to new possibilities and new ways of moving and breathing and being. I'm going to honor all of that, my friend, and welcome it in. And then whenever you're ready, you can release your hands and lift your chin and 
bring yourself to lie down or if you wish to sit in meditation that's fine too legs up the wall whatever feels nice here to honor this time and the space you have created you made an effort to be here you know so it's easy i am amazed when you make it because i think it's so hard to keep track of time so honor everything you have done and invested in your practice by taking a nice rest you can put something underneath your head you need anything an eye pillow a blanket and i hold this sacred space for all of us in the safety and the knowledge that it is okay right now to let go, to release whatever it is you are carrying into my sacred care. And I will hold it for you. Just feel this great release of heaviness vibrational energy if you feel very vibrant and it's hard to bring it down then you might roll on your side or even onto your tummy you could also place your hands on your body for grounding If you find your thoughts are creeping in, just releasing yourself back to the flow of your breath. It's like so much water. Just feeling your heart space heavy, back of your head heavy, your sacrum heavy, your arms heavy, your legs heavy. Scanning, noticing any place that is still holding, Just soothing gently, release yourself, feel the expiration of your breath releasing you deeply down so the inspiration of your breath can fill you up, free from tension, 
freeing from stress. I am here and present to my own experience. So you can stay as you are for as long as you like. I'm going to guide you out of this rest. And we're going to go slow. Feel free to join in or just stay as you are and move at your own pace. I'm just beginning by coming back to that breathing pattern we've done. So just allowing the breath to start to deepen, gently lengthen and to connect to the four parts of your breath. And just go through a few rounds of that. Lengthening, deepening, expiring and releasing. And as you feel ready to start to wiggle your fingers, move your wrists around in circles, both directions, maybe it's a figure eight, and then you can rest the hands or move them in tandem with the feet. So the next thing you'll start to do is wiggle your toes, roll your ankles around, maybe in figure eights or just whatever makes sense. You can do the wrists at the same time if you wish. And, and then we're going to take the arms over the head and just give yourself a really nice big stretch like you're just waking up. And from that stretch, then you'll bend the knees, place the feet on the floor. All good. And then hugging these knees into your chest for a few moments. So if you're already sitting, that's all fine. And if you're still on your back, then just hugging the knees in and rocking a little bit side to side and circling, just taking a few moments here in a pose we didn't do during practice. Let's let it be healing. And then you can roll to your side from there, maybe placing the feet back on the floor, rolling onto your side, and then pausing here for you know one to five breaths. When I'm in the fetal position here, I can always feel more tension, stress. I can allow it to just slide off the shoulders. It's incredible how quickly things come back. You know, it's a habit, things we hold. So once you've let that go, then you'll walk yourself upright, let your head just hang the whole way. And as you come upright, my friends, if you have a cushion, something to sit on, then you take that seat of the yogi. And, you know, it's like almost giving yourself a throne. <laughs> take the time to honor what we have here. You'll put your legs in a comfortable way. Sit as you need to. We're going to start just as we, as we started class is how we're going to end it. We're going to turn the palms down, just consciously massaging your legs, your knees, bringing that warmth in. So we're creating friction in the hands here as well. Let your jaw be relaxed, your breath easy. Feel a nice breath in and a nice breath out. And, and then the next time your hands slide down your thighs, off your knees, Reach them out in front of you, bring the hands together into the heart, bow your chin. And you are bringing in everything you have offered, and you are receiving it. You can keep your hands touching if you want to press them over your heart, then do that. And just feeling your breath, your presence, your energy softening and we'll seal this with our may we be blessed mantra we'll inhale grow tall may, may we be blessed, blessed with loving kindness, kindness. May, may we be well, well. May, may we be peaceful and at ease may we be healthy we'll seal that with one own together inhale oh.
And just pausing here about your chin, feeling into the frequencies, your stillness, your presence. And, and bless yourself here, my friends. Om Shanti, Om Peace, Om Namaste. I bless myself. And then lifting your chin and opening your eyes. And then namaste from my heart. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you so much. I hope that was okay. If you're planning to go to bed right away and you still feel energized, then maybe a little legs up the wall might be really nice. But otherwise, have a beautiful night, you guys. I know. You know what? Honestly, I am. Yesterday, I was asleep at 7:30. Like I go to bed when the sun goes. Like when the day's over, I'm in bed asleep by 8:30. I know. Up it. In the, yeah, I could give you my whole day schedule and. It's, but it's really about like living with the, the sun. So it is something to kind of one day bring in. <laughs> really good. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.